Good morning, everyone. You're watching Grace for Your Day. We're in the Gospel of John. We're in chapter 8. I know we've had a lot of devotions just out of this chapter, but we are moving right along. And today we're going to be in verse 53, and then I'm going to skip down to verse 56, 57, 58. And then we'll just take a couple of minutes to see what God would share with us out of these verses today. These are some really good verses. So let's look at them. Verse 53 out of John 8. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who is dead? And the prophets are dead. Who do you make yourself out to be? And then Jesus said this, Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. And he saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said to him, You're not yet 50 years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, Before Abraham was, I am. When it came to Abraham, in the eyes of the Jews, he was the man. And rightfully so. He was Father Abraham, Father of the Jews, Father of faith. It was to Abraham that God said he counted his faith as righteousness. Abraham was a hero to the Jews, and he should have been. That's why the Jews flipped their lid when they asked Jesus if he thought he was greater than Abraham. And Jesus said, yes. <laughs> Jesus basically said, you guys aren't happy about me being here, but Abraham is super pumped about me being here. He's super pumped about what I'm doing. And if that didn't anger them enough, it was his next answer that really turned up the heat. They asked him, they said, you say you've seen Abraham, you're not even 50 years old. How can that be? And then Jesus said this. He said, before Abraham was, I am. <laughs> With this statement, Jesus declared his deity. With this statement, Jesus said, I am God. So what does that mean? I am? Well, that's what it means. It means I am God. He is eternal God. He is not held by time. He is the God who was, the God who is, the God who is to come. He transcends culture. He transcends generations. He is the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He's also my God and yours. He knew us before we were conceived in our mother's womb. And he is the lamb slain before the foundation of the world. But he also knows the end from the beginning. He is the God of Genesis chapter 1 and the God of Revelation chapter 22. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. His life, his death, his resurrection has changed the world forever. And every person has the, has the choice to reject his claim as God or to receive him as Lord and Savior. Who is Jesus to you? He maybe is a great figure of the past that isn't relevant today. Or maybe he's someone that you plan to serve one day in the future. Well, neither one of those ideas about him will work because that's not who he is. Jesus is Lord today. He is I am. I pray the word has encouraged you this morning. We'll see you again tomorrow on Grace for Your Day. God bless.